Welcome to Speak On It with Who You With, Kirk Doe. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Welcome to Speak On It with Who You With, Kirk Doe. I'm here. 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 Welcome, welcome to speak on it with who you with, Kurt Doe. Welcome to speak on it with who you with, Kurt Doe. I'm here. 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 Welcome, welcome to speak on it with who you with, Kurt Doe. Welcome, welcome to speak on it with who you with, Kurt Doe. I'm here. I'm here. Welcome, 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 welcome, welcome to speak on it with who you with, Kurt Doe. Welcome to speak on it with who you with, Kurt Doe. I'm here. I'm welcome, welcome, 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 I'm here. Welcome to speak on it with who you with, Kurt Doe. Welcome, welcome to speak on it with who you with, Kurt Doe. I'm here. I'm welcome, welcome, 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 I'm here. Welcome to speak on it. Welcome, welcome to speak on it. I'm here. Welcome to speak on it. Welcome, welcome to speak on it. I'm here. Welcome to speak on it. Welcome, welcome to speak on it. I'm here. Welcome to speak. Welcome to speak. Welcome to speak. Welcome. I'm here. I'm welcome to speak. 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 I'm here. I'm 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 who you with, Kurt Doe? Welcome to speak on it with who you with, Kurt Doe. I'm him. Who you with, Kurt Doe? Man, what a beautiful day today. Want to welcome everyone to the show, uh, YouTube, Facebook, uh, D Live, Periscope, Twitch, Twitter. Uh, you can live chat with us during the show. If you are on my personal page, please take the time out. I have the uh, the uh, podcast page up. Speak on it with who you with, Kurt Doe. Please go over to that page for when you chat live with us. Uh, we can display your message on the chat. Um, y'all know what night it is. It's Thursday night. My home girl is in the house tonight. And you know she bringing some good history. Uh, gonna bring some history. We're gonna talk about um, uh, Miss uh, Las Vegas or Nevada. Um, uh, then we're also gonna talk about Marcy T. Shefford. Yeah. And uh, I don't know why, but Trump think he can make demands about things. But my understanding, if you Google a little bit, you can find out the information you need. But we're going to talk about all that tonight. But right now, look like she, I, I think she's up. She look like she might be asleep. I don't know. She said she was tired. But hold on. My girl, this <laughs> risky is in the house. I looked up, look like you were just sleep. I'm now I'm on my phone. <laughs> 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 like I, I was like scrolling and I was like, oh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> and my fake Jurian. What is this? You know that ADD I, I, I kicks in real quick. <laughs> I know it been a been a rough day for both of us. Uh, I did something I normally do not do. Uh, I ended up taking a nap. I said, man. Clutch the pearls? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm I don't like, even know what that I'm is like, unless I'm sick. I'm like, wait a minute. I, I'm i tired. <laughs> My body said, say, go on and take a quick nap. It wasn't long, but I did get a short one in. Uh, once again, if you are on my personal Facebook page, the uh for you can communicate with us and we can display your message please go to speak on it with who you with kurt dog on facebook and um we can display your message um tonight we have some history miss risky like i told you she'd be working yeah i'd be working and then mm -hmm. most of my time was spent on trying to get this back working my him link security <laughs> camera it, it just won't on you? Well, it kept disconnecting from the internet, and then I had to reinstall it, but it won't reinstall, so it's not connecting, and I have no idea what's going on. I was like, did the hackers, like, do something? I don't know. Um, um, I bought a printer last year, and it haven't been a year yet, and um, for some reason, I'm having issues. And Yeah, it hasn't been that long uh, since I bought this. Like, yeah, you bought that. A few what months ago? Like or maybe I say more like three months maybe. Yeah, maybe. it hasn't been that long, and and you but know one of my dates. 
<laughs> Since COVID, I don't keep up with these. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in up. Um, I did buy the insurance for this printer. Uh, I just haven't had time to call and file a claim and all of that, but y'all finna get it back. Uh, yeah, no I just disconnected all the services I like, so no payments coming out until I figure out what's going out, uh, going on. Exactly. Or if I'm just going to get something else, I don't know. Hey, I feel you on that. Um, oh, excuse me. So, how was your week, first of all? I know we have to talk much. Well, we haven't talked at all until today. It's been crazy. I actually had to work work. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. they're starting to bring people back. Well, they're talking about bringing people back, but all the regular people are asking random questions. And I'm like, you've been here longer than I have, and you should know this. Like, for some reason... People do like Dory. They reset when it comes to a holiday. Oh, my gosh. When do we need to have everything approved? Well, tramp, Monday morning. (laughs) It's always been Monday morning. And I sent out an email, which was my fault, to let them know, I'm coming in on Monday. It's a holiday. But I'm coming in because I don't want one day to process payroll. So it's going to be a normal processing day. And they're like, all right, what's the deadline? What is it? It doesn't change. Just have your stuff in. But Tuesday, guess what? There's no leeway. I'm transmitting. And then Wednesday, best of luck with that because I'm on a plane. Wait, so you <laughs> out this <laughs> Deuces. No manual checks, no nothing. Bye, bitches. <laughs> Wait, so when, when you leave out Tuesday, you're going to be leaving out dancing. Time I forget y'all. I'm out. Listen, and my boss already calls me for uh, 54. Because I'll be clocking out way before five. <laughs> I'm like, come on, let's go. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, it's time to go. We got here early enough. Let's go. We did our eight hours. Exactly. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Radio Chaos. Hey, hey Radio. Girl, Miss Risky. I need a feeding help so I can have enough energy for my main sleep at night. I I don't sleep during the day. Yeah, I can't. I think I'm too nosy it, and then I have a lot of stuff going on. It, that's why I can't sleep. But but today, shoot, I think I got about a good 30 to 45 minute nap. And normally when I wake up from a nap like that, I'm upset. My attitude is bad. Well, because you've lost almost like, well, you've lost that time. And see, like me, it's rare. Like unless my body needs it, like it forces me to take naps. Like I'll be watching something and all of a sudden I'll wake up. I'm like, did I take a nap? What day is it? Where am I? Exactly. <laughs> Was it drugged? <laughs> but, That's why I didn't call you to like, what was it, 640? <laughs> no, yeah, 640. Yeah, that's pretty and much I'm rushing. It was I'm late. Like, and I was going to text, but then I got sidetracked. Because I was like, <laughs> he hasn't posted the story. He is he okay? You know what? 7 o'clock. I'll check in at 7. <laughs> that's my time. I'm like, 7. <laughs> I'm rushing. I'm like, oh, Lord. And my day is all behind. But thank you for tuning in, radio. And happy Independence Day to you in Canada. Uh, today is Canada Independence Day. So, uh, congratulations to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you just made just, it weird. <laughs> Well, he asked me if I was, he asked me last night if I was going to celebrate the 4th of July. I said, no, that's not a holiday for me. I actually am going to hang out with friends. Well, they they invite me um, to their place in Little Elm. And they're, where they live, like, they're facing the park that they do the fireworks show. Oh, well, at. that's good. So it's like, literally, there's a bunch of houses across the street and then the park. And we were so close, like you could feel the vibrations, and we get the uh, what do you call it? the Resident debris? The fire, yeah. yeah, the debris from the fireworks. Like it was all on the cars. Like, and I have braids, so I'm shaking it out of my hair. <laughs> all the remnants. I'm like, we look like we were in like a war. <laughs> Right. And I don't know about this. So I don't know if I like this. And then, like, you see the embers in the yard and on the roof. And I'm like, there. I hope y'all watered y'all roofs. 
Miss Risky, I'm going to give you a word of advice. Make Stay sure in the house? A, no, make sure you have a hat on if you're out. No, listen, no. Like, I just make sure I don't have any oils in my hair. No, no, make sure you have a hat on because you don't want to be that woman leaving on the plane. Oh, no, no, no. I'm getting my hair done head. Saturday, so it doesn't matter what this is. That's on like. Saturday, but you don't leave to Wednesday. Yeah, but so you don't you don't want you don't want your hair to catch on fire Sunday. Yeah, no, it'll be good then. Like I'll be all right, fresh and clean. All right. Like I'm just gotta right. shake it out. All right, I'm just saying, I, don't want, I don't want you calling to me. I can't go on much, Phil. What do you mean? You I'm go? always gonna go. I don't care if I'm bald headed and snatched. <laughs> I am going. I got wigs on standby. My my hair burnt up. <laughs> That's what you probably need to do is uh, put a wig on uh, to catch it just in case. No, just not over the not okay. over the braids I'm getting. Oh, okay. It's gonna uh, be a lot of hair, a lot of hair, so I can get boyfriend. <laughs> welcome to the show, T Cal. Thank y'all for always supporting the show. Oh, and um, that was the biggest uh, net I've ever seen in my life. Seem like they get bigger. Yeah, I, I think don't have, like I haven't seen them in a while, and I think they've just been in a corner growing. You know what it is? They feel like it's finna be the Fourth of July for them. It's time to eat. <laughs> they coming out. They coming back. Um, them but, and the mosquitoes trying to get this old positive. Those turkeys. Yeah, I I went out in the backyard that uh, last weekend. Uh, well, I guess it was Monday or something. It felt so good out there. But um, um, we had a, a a company come out to spray. And I'm not going to use them because I don't like them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to use them. But he came out and sprayed. It seemed like it did good. But I have some other stuff I'm going to spray in the yard and make sure they all gone. But, uh, yeah. So, um other than that, you ready? Yeah, uh, I'll try to set this up. So I was trying to figure out how to present this. And it's pretty much lost black communities, um, which they pretty much call uh, development-induced displacement and resettlements, DIDR. But it's not something that just happens to the black communities of the past. Um, it happens everywhere, but it seems to, they seem to use it to make black communities disappear. <laughs> uh, so pretty much what it is, is it occurs when people are forced to leave their homes in development driven form of a, uh, and it's a, like a forced migration. Uh, historically, it's been associated with the construction of dams for uh, hydroelectric power irrigation, mining, agriculture, military installment, airports, railways, pipelines, etc. Like the list goes on. So any excuse to displace people, they do it. Um, the problem is this is a, this is a social problem that affects multiple levels of human organization from tribal and village communities to well-developed urban areas. And over time, communities across the racial lines have been affected by this resettlement plan. But um, like I said, for the most part, a majority of these uh, displacements occur with the African American communities, and which has a, a long run of running effect on generational wealth. Because if you had land, you had wealth. You could do things with it. You could sell, you can grow, you could do all the things. So basically, I got inspired because I was on Instagram and heard a story from Amber Ruffin. She is a writer and performer on The Late Night with Seth, Seth Meyers and shares stories about these forced resettlements. Uh, so um, one example um, is Lake Lanier uh, in the foothills of northern Georgia mountains. And it's located 60 miles from Atlanta. Um, the and it's about 600 miles of shorelines and borders five counties including hall forsyth dawson gwinnett and uh, lumpkin 
uh, which makes it one of the largest lakes in the state of Georgia. And, you know, uh, the lake was created in 1950s by flooding um, a valley of communities that contained a cemetery fueling beliefs that it was cursed for decades. Uh, there are a lot of unmarked graves and structures that were swallowed up by this water. Why am I mentioning that? Well, because there was actually a small village called Oscarville uh, uh, that was a thriving village that was predominantly black owned with about 1,098 black families. Um, and there are two events that occurred that changed the history of Oscarville forever. And of course, it's always a rape of some white woman. <laughs> and we've discussed this before. <laughs> so this occasion um, it was a rape and beating of May Crow, an 18-year-old white woman in uh, September 8, 1912. An angry mob was formed and began to torment the black residents of Forsyth County. Some reports state that the beating was so brutal that her eye was dislodged from her skull. And after her death on September 23rd, the angry mob began burning Black-owned churches, houses, and businesses. The two uh, Black men who were accused of her death were on trial for a day and hung outside of the town. The media mentioned that over 5,000 spectators watched their lifeless bodies hang swinging in the Georgia breeze. Just a normal day in Georgia. Uh, they also depicted these men as lowbrow, gorilla-like Negroes. That's their quote. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so it also was noted later that the grandniece of Macro, Debbie Vermont, thought her assailants were completely innocent based on her grandmother's account of the incident. Where have we heard that from? <laughs> Uh, two weeks prior to that, Ellen Grace, uh, Grice, another white woman, was allegedly raped by a black man. And of course, uh, angry militia hung him without any due process, investigation, or a proper trial. So after that, um, the mob grew increasingly more violent, and they ran off, chased down, and hunted over a thousand black residents from their homes, businesses, barns, churches, in a an attempt to keep their county segregated. After this ethnic cleansing uh, was completed to the satisfaction of white locals, it was uh, at, you know, I guess the U.S. Army Corps of uh, Engineers decided, hey, you know what, let's make a man-made lake. <laughs> And so they basically paid off the non-black, you know, uh, residents, uh, offered them money for their property, and created uh, a, a Buford Dam was created, um, and this huge lake. Um, and it, they, like I said, they offered money uh, for farmland to 700 families. Um, and it was pretty much 56,000 acres of property, of land. And, uh, and, the Chatt and the dam was built on the Chattahoochee River to form the lake. Uh, let's see. And then I guess during a drought in 2007, um, it revealed the motor speedway that was famous structure in the village of Oscarville, Georgia which was proof of the sustaining stories of the famous Speedway and, you know, their haunted memories. And also, they're saying that it's haunted because, like I said earlier, you know, they were saying it was, uh, there were uh, cemeteries on the property or under the water. Um, and they said that since 1994, that more than 200 people have died swimming in, in, in swimming and boating accidents adding to their dark history. Another community, um, I think you've probably seen this uh, a lot online, uh, Seneca Village is a forgotten settlement buried under Central Park. 
so this was a, a Seneca Village was a tight knit settlement for African Americans and Irish landowners uh, in New York. Um, it's centered in the what is known as the West Side of Central Park at 85th Street. It was an example of self-sufficient middle-class minority community that happened to stand in the way of city planners and their wealthiest New York families. So like, uh, the village started in 1825 when farmers John and Elizabeth Whitehead divided their land into 200 lots and sold the first three to an Andrew Williams for $125. Williams was a shoe shiner who joined a relatively small group of African American landowners in New York City. And Seneca Village quickly began to grow around Williams as more African Americans bought parcels of land from the Whiteheads. Uh, let's see, the village became a desirable location uh, when African Methodist Esca uh, es Episcopal Zion Church moved to the site, and by the 1850s, about 50 houses and two more churches had built uh, on that property. And I want to say, they say 20% of the city's landowning African American population lived in Seneca Village. Uh, so, what happened? <laughs> uh, the city's mayor and other powerful, powerful businessmen made it clear that they would um, throw their full weight behind the project and and because I guess they wanted more scenery and they wanted to get more European backers uh, um, for open space like Le uh, London uh, London's Hyde Park uh, so they were trying to use that as a model and so they paid the landowners paid like seven hundred dollars a lot uh, through intermittent, uh, in immediate, what is it? Imminent domain, and were told uh, to vacate. So some of the people were bought out, but others were rushed out. <laughs> uh, so they just created a park. Uh, another part of um, Central uh, Central Park, they created some kind of reservoir. And it was known for an air, uh, African burial ground, which is now an African burial ground national monument. And I want to say it's uh, York Hall, um, where in 19 or 1690s to 1790, a small plot of land in Lower Manhattan, which they call Little Africa, became the final resting place for over 15,000 freed and enslaved Americans. African Americans spanning six and a half acres. Uh, it was lost under years of urban development and landfills until workers rediscovered the barrier grounds in 1991 during an excavation of the land of the federal government office building, which um, the excavations uh, revealed about 419 Africans and over 500 individual artifacts. Um, let's see, like I said, in 2006, they declared it a national monument. Uh, let's see, another vanishing city is in Oregon. And when I was looking this up, I didn't realize, I mean, I guess I didn't think about it, but Oregon, I guess it was pretty racist. <laughs> Vanport was known to send shivers down the spine of well-bred Portlanders, and not because of any ghost stories, but because of the raw, unabashed racism. It was built in 110 days in 1942. And, it, and so Vanport was meant to be a temporary housing project um, for their, I guess, during the wartime, it was, uh, you know, there was a housing shortage. So um, they, at its high Vanport house, like four, uh, 40,000 residents, making it the second largest city in Oregon and uh, a home to uh, workers in Portland's shipyards and their families. 
but um, what does it say? The um, the apartment's design was kind of crappy, <laughs> and they they designed it through discriminatory housing policies. Many who stayed um, were African Americans in the city um, uh, in the city before the war claimed fewer than two thousand black residents. Why Portland? I had Vanport suspiciously and thought it was like a slum because it's like, oh, that's ghetto. And that's just 2000 at the time in their city. <laughs> so in, in 1859, it was the only state that constitutionally explicitly forbade black people from living, working, or owning property within its borders. And until 1926, it was illegal for black people to even move into the state. Uh, so at some point, um, uh, it was, there was an exception made because, you know, they saw green, <laughs> you know, they needed money. So in uh, 1941, industrialist Henry Kaiser struck a deal with the British Navy to build ships to bolster uh, Britain's war efforts. Black men and women arrived to Portland by the thousands, which increased the black population uh, like tenfold. And between 1940 and 1950, the black population increased more than any West Coast city other than o Oakland and San Francisco. So the Housing Authority in Portland built 4,900 temporary housing units for some 120,000 new workers, but it still wasn't enough for Kaiser, who needed space for a stream of workers to flow through the shipyards. And like I said, in 110 days, he created this community, and it was comprised of 10,414 uh, apartments and homes that were wooden blocks, like they were like cheap, cheaply made fiberboard walls. I don't know what those are, but I'm sure it's just like cheap. <laughs> and it was built on a marshland uh, between Columbia Slaw and Columbia River. And so they segregated the black population and kept them in that part. And it was only kept dry because of the system of dikes that held back the flow of the Columbia River. So that's what happened. So one year, I want to say it's 1948, weather is getting all crazy, and they said it was like the wettest season of the year. Officials in Vanport began patrolling the dikes, but didn't issue any warnings to Vanport res residents. But the HAP safeguards is filed and equipment they removed horses, equipment, but they left the black folk. They didn't care about them. And then there was a flyer that was sent out on May 30th, Memorial Day of 1948. And it read, don't get excited. <laughs> the dike didn't hold. At 4.17 p.m., a break came in the railroad dike and separated Vanport from Smith Lake along the city's northwest uh, edge and it rapidly expanded until the water was steadily streaming through a 500 foot gap in the dike and basically flooded the homes and decimated that whole community and 18,000 well over 18,000 residents were displaced and half of those were black um, so yeah, that was destroyed. <laughs> and there are many other cities. I'm not going to go into details about that because there are lots of stories of communities like um, the Lost Co Colony in uh, Bethesda. Um, that one is in Maryland. It uh, is uh, between Little Falls Parkway and Kenwood. It had, uh, it was very prominent in 1960s, had small church, churches, and um, they ended up just decimating that town. Um, let's see what other cities. Um, 
I think they say stated that over a hundred uh, black communities have been destroyed and have been either leveled off and built over or lakes have been created. And uh, I sent the, that list of communities to Kurt Dogs, so he will post them on his site. Um, Kawaliga, Illinois, which uh, they it was a flourishing black community, it is now Lake Martin. Uh, like I said, York Hill in New York is Central Park Reservoir, Reservoir, Seneca, New York, Central Park. So you can do your own research and look them up and and. Uh, see where like what they did to these communities and it's just funny like as I present like these this report it, like talking about resettlements and things like that like resettlement like it's just I don't know it just implies that some sort of government agency assists in some way to transfer refugees or relocate citizens in case of natural desires disasters like Hurricane Katrina you know, survivors. But these people, they were like ran out of town or, you know, they let natural disasters wipe them out. So it's like, words like resettlement, it's like, mm, we may need to change that verbiage um, because they were evacuated by force and the land stolen. And like I said, there was over a hundred communities that was destroyed in order to erase the history. And it's, an, it's important for us to preserve our history, not just Black history, but all history to educate and, and teach future generations. Mm. So stop whitewashing history. Like, let it just tell it like it is. <laughs> you know, I, I just, while you was doing that, I um, want to welcome everyone that came in in, in the middle of the history, uh, Marcella Smith. Um, Hey, Marcella. Talking about, oh, hey, Miss Risky. <laughs> but um, I want to welcome everyone to the show. Uh, Matos, uh, I see your comments. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, tell a friend, subscribe to the channel since you are on um, YouTube. Uh, this is a show for everyone. Everyone is is um, have their own opinion. We just have a couple of house rules you have to buy by. Uh, first, never put a link on the page. Secondly, be respectful. Third, come with facts. And with all of that being said, everybody is welcome. Um, but Miss Risky, while you was reading this, uh, reading your history, I ran across a story and it may shock a lot of folks. Uh, Seneca Village, New York, taking a stroll through history. This is uh, provided by the Roots, uh, located between 82nd and 89th Street and 7th and 8th Avenue in Manhattan. First community to prominent Black property owner, owners. Uh, the New York State Census estimated that about 264 residents live in Seneca Village between 1825 and 1857. The area consists of three churches, a school, and several cemeteries. I was raised in the history erased with the development of Central Park and Five Point District, New York, High Stake, and Lower Manhattan. That's known as uh, Wall Street now. Um, so i know i was distracted <laughs> i was distracted hey <laughs> i was distracted so uh the wall street i didn't mention so yeah yeah it, but like it, pretty much all of these lands were developed by other races of people and like i stated i think seneca had the irish and black communities um but it's like it affected a lot of people, but for some reason they erased the history. They use it to erase the history of the black community, like yeah, Black exactly. Wall Street. That wasn't the only. That wasn't the only place that they destroyed and leveled out. We just know about it because of the the history. Like they destroyed a whole community, and what was it, Elaine? Um, what was it, Elaine? Was it one of the Carolinas where they actually bombed their city? Oh, wow. 
Was that a lean? Uh, that's it, it's several of them that they've done, but I think it's only I once they bombed about. the uh, city in the United States. Like, yeah, they went in and killed a bunch of people, but this is the first time they actually bombed a U.S. city. What's that Let before that. Tulsa and also before uh, Philadelphia? Hold on. Let me Google because okay. I know we talked about. And see, what I mentioned about Wall Street, uh, from, from where Wall Street is today, from the 1830 to the 1860, this area, was the site of Manhattan first first free black settlement. So this is where blacks went to. They had um, stuff from uh, located on on the five corner intersection of what were then Anthony Cross Orange and Little Water Street. It also became known as the Notorious Flum, with its dan dance hall, bars, gambling, and prostitution. Uh, many black fled to the area to escape the draft ride in 1863. But now it's Wall Street. Let's see. Let's see, this one is saying, so maybe, did we bomb more than one city? <laughs> yes. Yeah, because uh, Cause this one bombed, is saying Osage Avenue in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Uh, where the, they, between Move Black uh, Liberation Group. And I remember talking yes. about that. We talked about the previous that. show. Then we also had Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah, Tulsa. Uh, so it been several cities that listen. Never... U.S. like, st- what is wrong with us? <laughs> we like learned want... how to bombs, uh, create bombs, and we we're like, let's do it domestically. But they don't want us to talk about the history, right? Because they don't want an uprising. Like Planet of the Apes, they'll we'll go postal. But clearly, in all these years, we haven't. We're just asking for one thing: respect and be fair, <laughs> equal exactly. justice, equal rights. That's all we want. That's it. Like you can't, you can't cater to that. Like exactly. that's it. Now, did you ever talk about? And, and I apologize because I was. No, no, no worries. I was distracted uh, due to some of the messages coming in. But did you talk about Freedom Freedom uh, Town, Texas? No. Okay. That's Houston, Little Harlem. That's it's it's, it's a lot of history that comes out with this. And if, yeah. um, uh, if you start to. Um, uh, just kind of do your research on it because everything that we do on this show, we do research on. If we don't have it, we will do research and come back and do a show about it. So we only hit on a couple of them, but there's a lot of, oh, excuse me, a lot of lost black communities in the world. And where I'm getting this from is actually coming from the roots and it actually talk about history lost black towns that's the title of it so uh and this came out in 2011. so it's a lot of them there but definitely uh check it out it's great history miss risky i so appreciate it i appreciate you because you bring some stuff in you know Uh, i try and like I said, it w- I was trying to figure out what am I going to talk about this week, and I just happened to see this, you know, post on uh, Instagram, and so I was like, oh, and so I, like I said, I sent you a list of just a few of the cities that were black communities, and yeah, there were, you know, it's pepper, but it was majority black African Americans. Um, and so it's what, like 20 that I sent you. But like I said, there's like over 100. I didn't have time to do 100. Yeah. I got. I have um, a job. <laughs> you have a nine. I have a job. Oh, you have an eight to have, five, don't you? Right, listen, five. eight to five. Well, according to my boss, eight to uh, 454. <laughs> 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 like I'm in my car by five. <laughs> But uh, and then more- and between Stargate, you know, because I'm rewatching that for the 1600 time. Yeah, I'm that exactly. kind of geek. 
Um, also, um, <laughs> Marcella says, but, but in the military, friendly fire is intolerated. But the US <laughs> government can bomb the cities in the U.S. Okay. Yeah, but that's not, that only applies to certain communities. In certain areas. Now, if they go and burn, uh, not burn. Like they could go to Highland Park and bomb it. Be an exactly. uproar. Exactly. I go to um, policies uh, will change. Uh, Nebraska, or somewhere it depends on what part of Nebraska, Wyoming, or somewhere, uh, it'll be a problem. So, uh, I definitely really appreciate you always bringing this history, the history facts, and. Um, I want to touch touch on a couple of things. Um, I know <clears throat> Matos, uh, his first time here, and he's probably not even on. Mateus. On a, yeah, Raphael. him too. <laughs> I love All the names. On. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, Mateus, everybody Mateo. is welcome. Is it Mateos or Mateo? I have no I idea. Know. Well, it's not a. I'm used there. to Mateo, but that's like Mateos. When I read the name, I thought about the restaurant. Matitos? <laughs> that's what I thought about. I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm like, no, it's been a while. It's been a while. Been a while since uh, since I've been there. I'm like, hey. Uh, well, they had they had a great brunch the last time I went. So, uh, but that been a while ago. <laughs> Either that or I'm hungry. Um, <clears throat> but um, yeah, so yeah, it's about the same way. It's just the pasifias. So that's the difference in it. But uh, Matitos, or however you pronounce your name. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Uh, you can actually, it's a way, it's a, it's a way that you do stuff. Um, just come in, bum rushing stuff, because we, we pretty much that stuff. <laughs> yeah, we we have an open platform uh where if people put stuff into the uh chat, we will verify it and um come back and talk about it. But you came in blasting all this stuff and didn't even say hello. <laughs> uh, when you come mm -hmm. into somebody's house, at least speak. <laughs> at least speak first. And uh, oh, I just hide in the background, so I'm I'm guilty of that. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, no lie. but if you're gonna start chatting and stuff, at least speak. And and speak in a language that we can we can read. So um because at first he came in talking different language and then he oh, did he? To make... i didn't even see that what did he write because oh, yeah. i could probably uh, translate it uh habasha gang or something but, uh because yeah, I... I can't scroll on here i'm i put it up uh then he started oh wait i missed it oh you going too fast DIS education fool. I just took it back. I just took <laughs> it back. See it now. <laughs> yeah, Did but you, you were like it? scrolling. I was like looking down and I was like, oh wait, he posted something. I missed it. Do you see it now? Well, I see that, but I didn't see the other okay. ones. Okay. Jesus, I'm, I'm Jimmy. No, oh, I don't know those words. Exactly. <laughs> what in the world? Uh, Danny, and I don't even is that's not even Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I I believe it's Ethiopian because okay. a lot of stuff that he was saying it was dealing with Ethiopian. Um, oh yeah, I I know so. I can identify German and Spanish words in French foods. That's it. But then he started to say some derogatory things about President Obama. Listen, uh, I will get my uh, Bixby up and we'll translate all those words. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so so the thing is uh like i said this is a show for everyone but please follow the house rule be respectful uh if you decide to call in do not block your number i will not answer and be respectful and come with facts um because once you become disrespectful i just overlook everything uh one thing i do agree with one of the last statements he did make was um, profit is a multi-billion dollar business. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I agree with you on that because the rich want the poor to stay poor. Just like health care. You can't make money off the healthy people. Poor. Exactly. So I do um, agree with you on that. So, but it's a way that you have to do it. I'm not going to come to your house and just come in and do what I want to do. It's a way that you do it. But please, if you're still listening, take the time out. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, click the notification, and always be a part of the show whenever we're live. So, <clears throat> um, but sure. All right. You know, you always. Sidebar. Do. Like, okay. So, one of my friends just sent me a DM. I guess somebody got mad at her at her response to the Bill Cosby being released and and that she didn't react the same way to Cardi B incident. And I was like, what's the Cardi B incident? I totally forgot in her stripper days because I think she even admitted it. But I can't remember. I'm not like allegedly she um, drugged a couple of men and robbed them when she was a stripper. And nobody said a word. And we all know it's a double standard when it comes to sex and sex acts and, you know, productions. But I wanted to get you, like, what, like, I told her, listen, a predator is a predator. (laughs) But we are still living in a man's world. You know, like men, like, even though we're coming up in the ranks as women, it's still a men, man's world. They have the power. They're trying to rule our private parts. <laughs> and they don't even know where, like, the navigations are <laughs> of all the lady parts. So, like, I'm just curious, like, what are you, what's your thought on that? Like, should she be, like, investigated? Or is this something like a guy would be just like, you know what? I don't even want to bring it up. Well, like, that my, was in the past. My thing is... If if she half admitted that, and with anybody, I don't care who it is. If you have done these things, yes, they should be investigated. Unfortunately, with Bill, he had a deal, and because uh, they did not stick to that deal. That's the reason why that case was overturned. But they also did a rush job. Like, they didn't do their due diligence on that. It was just like, lock them up. (laughs) Yeah, and they didn't pay attention to the fact that he had a a bill in place. And I actually told someone, I said, uh, uh, I told someone yesterday, I said, look, you got to realize when that first trial the young lady said she lied trying to get him convicted. Um, so she lied about that. And then on top of that, with Bill, uh, he allegedly, he said he did do it. And he should have been held accountable. But he had a plea deal that he would not go to jail. And because of that, I said yesterday, I believe it may be a lawsuit to come out because he never should have been there. And it made me come. Yeah, and I think they said he's working on that. He's working on a lawsuit. And I was like, if they had done it right, because, yeah, listen, even in the 80s, we knew, well, it was a different time. Like, we knew all the shady boots people. We knew all the creepy old men. Like, we just knew their stories somehow. Like, somebody of a family member knew them, da, da, da. But for some reason, we keep in we keep the news close in our community. We know certain things. Like we knew R. Kelly was peeing on little young girls. Nothing happened because nobody cared about the black community. And then all of a sudden, they blew up. And it's like you know what we need to we need to put the carbosh on that. And it blew up because the Me Too movement that right. was started by a black woman, but it was hijacked by a white woman and that's why the me too movement took off like if, it, the, if this was done right like was it a needle anita hill would have been the original me too movement exactly <laughs> like for real <laughs> like <laughs> all the and then it would have set a precedent you know 
because you can't grab and fill on women, but it was like commonplace. Like I remember having a boss and this was in the 2000s. You know, he's well off, millionaire. And he was like, he was just joking around. He's like, what were you thinking, girl? And then he went to smack my butt and then I gave him a look and he adjusted and, you know, got my thigh. <laughs> but hey. it was like he mid smack. He thought about it and shifted because he knew it was wrong because, you know, we were in a different time then, but nothing like, what am I going to do? Exactly. And that's and why a lot of these things are reported later because it's like, okay, and what? That's the environment we live in. It's a man's world. It's a man's company I work for. But I think James Brown said it the best. Though. It's a man's world, but it don't mean nothing without a woman. Mm -hmm. I think he said it the best. Now, now, see, I think it was earlier this month, the last month, when we talked about Bill would not take the sex offender course. Um, wouldn't take the sex offender course. Um, and that's probably the reason why. Because if he would have took that course, he would have been admitting to these charges. Right. If he took that course, he could have got out of jail on probation. But now, because he stood his ground, he's out and they cannot retrial him. Right. And regardless of his age, listen, he is a creepy old man. Like I re like I love the Cosby show. I still watch the Cosby show. Gladys on was it Amazon Prime, I think. But then you watch it, he's a creepy old man. Like, look at him and how he's up on snuggling up on these women. He was a creeper times 10 and we all knew it, but it's like put in a different context as you watch it now. And you're like, Oh, that's gross. Bill, <laughs> like there's acting, but that's like creep level. <laughs> like you could tell he does extra and the women are powerless because this is his show. Exactly. And, you know, and that's how, you know, like with, uh, was it Weinstein? It's like, yep. why would they go up to his hotel room at three o'clock in the morning? Well, because he pretty much runs freaking Hollywood. You see him when it's, you see him. Like after an event, he's like, hey, after the Grammys, come up to the hotel. We can talk about this yeah. deal. And then he just shows up, you know, with his robe open, <laughs> slinging around doing a helicopter. <laughs> And then you're just like, uh, ass, well, no, I don't know what he did. He, you know, but I'm just like, in my mind, <laughs> I won't say all that probably been peeing on his nuts, but I won't Listen, say all that. You know, who knows what happened in that room? Like he did a that lot of shady it. stuff. The fact that he's like locked, locked up and he's a bajillionaire, he ran Hollywood and they put him out and his wife was like, yeah, we're out. Like everybody exactly. on the red carpet wore his wife's stuff. That's how much power this man had. Yep. Everybody, Marquesa, Marquesa. Oh, I'm wearing Marquesa. I don't know exactly. what a Marquesa is, but it was everywhere. And now it's just, nowhere. Just somebody name on it. Um, uh, radio said uh, the prosecutor who made the deal with Cosby is the same lawyer who defended Trump for his second impeachment trial. He is also defending one of the January 6th insurance. Of course he is. <laughs> of course. It, it got to make money. Uh, that's what it is all about. Um, Marcel was talking about uh, a man that don't curse is creepy. <laughs> um, all them uh, jello pudding pops. <laughs> Jello pudding pops. Remember picture pages? And he had the little pen that made the sound. Or is that just me? I remember. I watched all the Bill Cosby stuff. Had the um, what was it? I would have to. Had Albert. I would have to. Because it was a part of that. Matter of fact, did you see that interview yesterday with Bill Cosby? And somebody was in the background talking about, hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm like, what? I'm like, okay. Uh, like they bring in all of his comedy, all of his things is creepy. Like when you like, he used to, but men are just, I think, okay, yeah, I'm putting it out there. Men are creepy. 
y'all can get creepy like y'all can go from here to here real quick over simple stuff but we love you and we tolerate some level of creepdom but he was in a whole different demographic (laughs) of creepiness like i'm just putting out from my experience in my circle so i'll say that yeah i'll say that because there's some who are probably upstanding citizens i haven't met those (laughs) but i tolerate it (laughs) wait a minute you can't say oh man because i don't think i'm creeping curtis never mind forget about it (laughs) (laughs) forget about it i would have called your middle name if i had curtis (laughs) curtis james (laughs) Hey, you've got hey, better be, but don't again be it's about communication because like you don't realize you're being creepy unless somebody calls you out women are passive because we want to be liked and we're just like we just we're just pacifists and we don't want to create you know create waves and so we let a lot of things go and i think that's the problem in society we let a lot of things go and then men think it's okay when it's not and then they go to the next woman and they're like oh no 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 I don't know where you learned this from. And that's where the trouble happens. But I, yeah, I had to put you in check of, of one time. Don't be thinking too hard. <laughs> wait a minute. I'm, I'm like, wait a minute, huh? Okay, we'll have to talk about that. Cause, <laughs> yeah. You've gotten better because you learned. Oh. It was just a comments. And I was like, oh. yeah, well, because. You know, I think I look at you as just yeah, a little sister. I'm like, hey, we just talk, right? right? But, but sometimes I'm like, wait is. a minute, now I'm getting uncomfortable. Yeah. Let's move, and then you yeah. correct it. So, I and, know, that's, and I think that's a lot of things. Like a lot of things can be uh, corrected with communication. You gotta let people yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. And like, yeah. not ten years later. Oh my god, we go. No, like corrected. 20, 30 but, years later. <laughs> yeah, I like was I did to that. Get this movie part, and yeah. uh, I couldn't get it. So, yeah, I so got... women bear some of the responsibility because the way we may have grown up. But me, I'm just like, listen here. No. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, I, I think because we're so close, sometimes I just be talking like, man, that's. Am I for blah blah blah? blah. And right. you be like, hold right. on now. Just like, I'm not one weird. of your boys you talking to. I'm like, all right. Like, eh, so. not comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you correct, you know, because now you know the boundaries. Because yeah. I think that's the problem. Like, a lot of people don't know their boundaries. Because, like, there are times where I'm like, listen, because I'm not saying that I haven't gone to like a gay bar and felt up a couple of fellows who were scantily clad and had abs just popping. So, like, if I became famous, they could be like, me too. <laughs> and I'd be like, listen, <laughs> like, come on, here, come here. Let me let me just touch one more time. All right, what do you want? A yacht? Okay. <laughs> Have fun with that one. <laughs> no, I'm just, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, everybody, like, kind of crosses the line at some point. But see, you know what? Like from For- flirting to just getting, you know, but you don't know what everybody's level of creeptum is, like, what's yeah. acceptable. But see, you know what? From a from a man's point of view, if a woman came up and touched us, it would right, be it's like, fair oh. game. Right, but, and that's what I if, think too. Like, if I'm touching your arm, like, oh, giving you a squeeze, yeah, and you put your little hand on my waist, maybe you slide it down a little, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> that's <laughs> fine. But if I'm not reciprocating what you're giving out, like, and I'm exactly pulling away, pull away. Learn cues. Learn the cues. Like if a woman is pulling away from you, stop. Abort exactly. mission. She's not into it. If she's laughing and giggling, and then also like women are complicated. Even if if it's a a, a nervous <laughs> giggle, <laughs> I'm laughing because of what just popped up and it yeah. haven't popped up <laughs> haven't popped up on my stream yet. I don't know why. Um, uh, are you learning Marcellus? <laughs> but see, that first come in, he said it did not show up. I, the one I'm taking notes, it didn't show up. Oh, okay. But that one kept saying, came up. 
Yeah, Keep I mean, talking, it's just communication. Hmm. It's communication. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm letting y'all know the codes. Uh, I, I, you know, because we need to do better as people because, you know, it goes both ways because there are women that are creepy. Creepy old women. I get violated by a creepy old woman. <laughs> I think I know who you're talking about. Don't say no names. I We're not going to call her out. You... I'm not going to say how I know her. Let, but listen, let's just her, say, before let's just her, say, I'm just going to say this before her husband died, like both of them, I was just like, Y'all yeah, swingers? I know, who, I, I know who you're talking about because, uh, <laughs> let's care. just say, let's just say, um, <sighs> I don't know exactly how old she is, but she probably in the early she's, 70s. She's in her 70s, yeah. She's in but, her 70s, but, and she just does but, not care. And if you call her out, she's like, ah, whatever. Come here, and she'll still grab you. And you're just like, whatever. Like, But let me, te- let me tell you this. <laughs> if she have one too many, she might be up on the table dancing with no shirt on. Listen, I've been uh-huh. with her when she splashed somebody and there's a, a state trooper behind us. Like, <laughs> And then I seen it. I think it was my birthday that time. And she, <laughs> I'm like, it's my birthday, and she falling on the floor. <laughs> well, to be fair, there was a cane in the way. Like the dude had a cane. It was a legit cane. But the way she rounded that corner, she should have missed that cane. But she did. It. But she was walking sideways. Right. <laughs> And it was funny uh-huh. because, like, I heard something, and the way I was positioned, I couldn't see her because we were playing, and it's the the bar, and then they're seating at the top. So she was behind us on this, like, behind this wall. I couldn't see her. So I'm like, what's going on? I heard a noise, and then all of a sudden I just heard this laugh, and I looked down, and there she was, <laughs> like, forever. <laughs> Like, okay, so anybody going to help her out? Because <laughs> I'm but on the other side of the wall. Person. Sweet she's as a sweet can person. be. Very loving. Sweet Sometimes person. she's got questionable views. Because, like, if I didn't know her, I would have blocked her on Facebook a long time ago. Because they skate on races. But she's kind of like me, where she posts things that she doesn't really believe in. Just She just posts to get a reaction. Because she knows a certain few people will react. Because I, you know, we get bored. It happens. Yeah. But and, yeah, she and, is touchy feely, and she's all of those things. And and she invited in, uh, a long time ago when I used to say it all the time she had invited invited um, as to her home, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I don't know. Um, but uh, oh, no, she wasn't. Is. She she wasn't married then. Oh, after yeah, yeah, yeah. After um, no, no. But, but right. they were very um, open, and they had been married for fifty three years. And he was a great guy. And funny story, I'm gonna mention his name. We're not gonna mention hers because her no demographic doesn't name, listen no. to the show. No, no, that's name. So I'm working with this person. For, like, first week on the job, okay? I don't know these people. <laughs> and then I just hear this older woman. She's like, what is on the dresser? Well, I don't know. Dick. And I was like, this old woman just called somebody a dick. Nobody's reacting. Like, we're <laughs> on the floor and nobody's saying anything. That was her husband's name. I didn't realize. <laughs> but the way she said it in that pause, like it was like a double me, dick. <laughs> and I was like, this old woman is just out of control. <laughs> but see, I had, I have another one which I need to text her tomorrow and check up on her. I call her my BFF. We played poker together, and uh, one day we was at the table. This guy come in, real big asshole, uh, <laughs> being rude. And he yelled off, uh, I'm going to just say her name, Susie, but it's not. Yeah, uh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I'm going to say, F you, Susie. Love her. She said, I, she said, I wish you would. 
fucking with firecracker. <laughs> she was like, I wish you would. I was like, huh? Some I was like, the, okay. Some of the best people to have your back are these old ladies that play poker. Like, mm-hmm. they look like they're, like, they don't tolerate a lot of stuff and people. <laughs> But then you get to know them, and they have like your back like a thousand percent, and you're like, did she just pull out a blade? She, yeah, you come after me, she gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and um, you know, it was one particular one that um, uh, passed several years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've talked about her on the show, yeah. but she just seemed like she was just mean. Yeah, she was. It's she did because she had beautiful eyes, beautiful green eyes. Oh, like they were and when she weird green. And when she cut the eyes at you, you seem like you would just drop dead. Listen, <laughs> like, get a better hand than she had. She can have like a full house. You get quads, and she will cut you with those eyes. She'll do like this, like Carrie. And it's like, oh Lord, I didn't cut her. My bad. I'm, like, I'm no. sorry, Miss. <laughs> but she, but, but she, she was, remind me of Carol Burnett. Yeah, that the red hair. Carol mm-hmm. Burnett. And those, and, like, I want to say beautiful green eyes because they were strange, but they were striking. Like, I've never seen eyes like that before in my life. But she was this little firecracker of a woman with red hair. She was awesome. And so, and she, um, and, and how we became friends, I said, you know what? I made a point. I said, you're going to be my BFL. She like, no. <laughs> but it took me a while. But then when she got to know me, she was All like, right. it took her a while to hey, get more. Hey, BFF. Because um, I didn't think she liked me. And then we started being chummy. I was like, oh, okay. Laughing, joking. She was and, uh, hilarious. Exactly. Once you got to know her, she was good. And then um, when she was like, when she broke that, uh, uh, that boundary with her, uh, Listen, nobody can mess with you. <laughs> Show couldn't. <laughs> she Show couldn't. You. And she would she'd be like, look, mm-mm. And and she hung out with, with certain folks. She'd be like, Oh, Kurt Dog is good. He's cool. Right. <laughs> like she was like like a part of the mafia, like, you're good. <laughs> Don't mess with him. She would have protected. Him. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody listened to her. So, so. So that's that's cool. Um, tell my friend when you talk to her again. I say hello. <laughs> well, she's at home with her family. She's gonna be there for a month in New York. Oh, she's been trying to get me out there to go there, like her whole family. <laughs> you know, she she never was afraid to invite anybody over. Be like, hey, yeah, I'll come like, on over. Very open, but I'm like, and I I may like I may take her up on it one year. Like, maybe next year. Like, we'll see how things go. Because I told her I wanted to do a certain, you know, few things. Because she lives, like, she lives in the city, but not, like, the city, like, what we think of as the city. Like, like, like lots of trees in the country, New York. Okay. And so, so, yeah. I, I would like, because she, she grew up riding horses. Like, she was a barrel racer. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to picture that. Like I've but seen the pictures. Was, like I've seen say, actual pictures. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Well, she, she had she, kinkiest little hair. <laughs> I was like, she's so a this sweet is woman. yours. Yeah, she she's legit. She's awesome. Mm, so I told her, like, nice. if I go there, I want to try all the foods: pizza, bagels, uh, hot dog. I hate hot dogs, but I want to eat one from a vendor. I want to do all the things. And she was like, you got to exactly. get on the subway. And I was like, mm, I don't know about uh, the subway. I don't know about that. She's like, I... you do it during the day. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, like, can I carry a pocket knife? <laughs> that's the only reason I'm like hesitant because she will have me doing all the things. Like you can just chill. You're going to be doing all the things. And you're going to need a vacation once you come off right. that vacation. So it's like, but... I may take her up on it because, like, her family is very welcoming, and they would just be like, "You stay with us, okay?" Mm-hmm. Now they don't have no, no uh, family member. They have locked up in the upstairs bedroom and nothing to do. That. Well, I remember uh, <laughs> I met <laughs> her daughter. Like, I went for 
Christmas. Like they invited me to their Christmas family thing. And they had a couple of pets. One of them they didn't let out because I guess he was too big and too hyper. Mm. But they let the pit bull out. (laughs) (laughs) And you know how we are with dogs. We don't like everybody's dog. Black folks and dogs are a weird situation. (laughs) It's hit or miss. Like We don't trust everybody's dogs because we don't know how you train them, how you handle them. We don't like them always up on us. And this dog was extra friendly. And this is like 100 <laughs> pounds worth of fear. Like you can see every muscle. <laughs> Be like, and I was like, oh, up? smell fear. <laughs> and that made me more anxious. Because I'm like, they smell fear. <laughs> Don't. And it was just all up on me. He just all love you. And then it went away. And I was just like, Because <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in, like, I've never been in contact with like a pit bull super friendly super cute but i don't need to meet it again <laughs> well we're gonna hit on a couple of stories before we get up out of here because uh yeah because we uh, yeah because we on that and stuff that we didn't even make we? plan for <laughs> i didn't have a plan sir oh <laughs> <laughs> well i think my nap kind of kind of threw me off a little bit uh but what we're gonna do is um, gonna hit on a couple of things. Uh, hold on, let me pull this up. Um, hold on. Time has changed quite a bit. Um, so we're gonna deal with the uh, Miss Nevada. Um, so time has changed quite a bit. Miss Nevada 2021, Katula. Cataluna in Rica. Yeah, something like that. Um, <laughs> on becoming the first transgender Miss USA contestant, I wanted to put myself out there so we can learn. And she's so, a woman of color, of course. So, oh, she the is? first trans woman of color. Yeah, she's, you know, you okay. know, like anything that's not white is <laughs> of color. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> A nice little Latina. She's cute, though. Yeah, it, it will it will confuse you. Uh, Listen, they don't look like back in the day. My family and I talked about this recently, because back in the day, uh, butchy women who were would be considered trans just had short hair and wore boy clothes. Now they look like full grown men with muscles. Women, they just look like big old men linebackers with wigs and now they look like glamazons like yeah technology has come a long way now you can look how you however you feel and it's uh it's beautiful and and it's a wonderful thing that the world is changing to be open yeah more uh, accepting. for this um i i remember years it had been about 22 23 years ago uh, and I was a manager at a business, and um, uh, one of my employees, cool guy, I forgot his name, but he was cool, uh, kind of work. And I knew he was gay, him and his boyfriend, no problem. One night, he came up there, and he told me, he said, Curtis, um, I'm a, I have a, a, a show tonight. I'm going to come up here tonight in my full outfit. Okay, cool. Don't make me no different. <laughs> live your life however you live in. He came up there, and the guys that I worked with came. He came up. Nobody recognized this dude. Um, full drags, and the guys like I work with some um with some uh. <laughs> I'd hate to say it, but some dudes that was that was from a different area, and they was like they trying to holler. I'm like, me personally, I'm at work. I'm gonna conduct myself right. But um, the thing is, when he told us who it, who he was, we didn't realize who he was till his boyfriend came in, and we were like, so and so. They were like, yeah, 
we were like, wow, it looked like a totally different person. This was 20 some years ago. So <clears throat> I'm I'm like this. No matter how you live your life, be happy with it. Uh, I have family members that are gay. I have some um, that are transgender. I'm open to it. it it's not going to change the way I feel about you because I love you beforehand and I'm going to continue loving you. And the only thing I'm going to tell you, be safe, be happy. That's all to it. So um, congratulations to uh, Catalina. In uh, the yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for winning Miss Nevada 2021. Uh, and hopefully you have some bright future in front of you. And um and win more competition because now we're in a stage in this world where uh, people are more acceptance to yeah. transgender and well, gay. Sex is fluid. Like just yeah. I mean, be like dolphins. Just whatever feels good feels good. Like whatever. <laughs> love yeah. is love. It's like hey, that's why I said the other day. It doesn't make a difference who you love, long as you're happy long as you're happy. Um, <clears throat> another story we're going to hit on, and I'm I'm running through them real quick. So um, I only know of one other one that you talked about, the Trump thing. Well, I'm going to do that last. Oh, uh, there was another one. <laughs> yeah, the Marcia T. Schaefer. Um, um, so <laughs> this happened today, which is crazy. Um, I wonder why the, oh, I'm like, why did this come up? Um, I see a YouTube that say history lost black cities and then Catalina. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, that's my page. <laughs> um, but uh, in South Carolina, a uh, jail guard caught smuggling filled rice crispy tree. <laughs> Fisher said. Uh, a South Carolina correction officer found herself in a sticky situation after she was caught attempting to smuggle Rice Krispie treats to inmates that were studded with drugs. <clears throat> Marcy T. Schaefer, 43, was busted with the sweet and crunchy contraband Thursday as she tried to enter the Camille Griffin Graham Correctional Institution in Richland County. Uh, that's located in South Carolina. So, um, now you and went through all of that to get this job, and now yeah, you're gonna go, go to jail. Through, they take you through it. Exactly. But it, it, <laughs> how long was she there? Does it say how long she was working there? Let me see. Because, uh, like, I mean, I'm only going by the knowledge I know from Oz. <laughs> <laughs> well, put it like this: If she's forty three, she had to be there for a while, like for a minute. Because I had a boss who was that age, but she did it in her younger years, and well, then she stopped going because somebody grabbed her by the you know what by the what Donald Trump said, <laughs> and then she was like, "I'm out." <laughs> And this was a big woman, like she was six foot two, thickums, and she could have, but she was like, "These are prisoners, I'm out." But yeah, yeah, like I don't think they make that much money, and maybe she needed some extra dough, and somebody made her an offer that she couldn't refuse. Um, but I don't know. I'm not going to jail for a criminal or anybody. <clears throat> well, I've, I've talked with a correction officer. Uh, last earlier this month, and they was like, they are, they have to retire at a certain age. I think it's like uh, fifty something. And they have to retire, but when they reach that retirement age, they get the full benefits, just like police officers. So now you putting down your benefits for a prison suit and they take you through the ringer to try to get on there. And most people get on, get on at a young age. Um, 
I think at 43, that's a little bit old. So I'm going to say she probably been there for a while. <clears throat> been there for a long while. And that's just, uh, unfortunately, um, made the wrong decision. All right. Um, Cause she probably <clears throat> witnessed somebody or heard somebody. Like, I, I don't know the situation to make you do that. Cause like, I even jokingly said, if I was in law enforcement, I wouldn't necessarily be like a crooked cop, like, and not crooked cop, but you know, like do a drug bust. Oh, look, there's $50,000, but then record 25,000. You know what I mean? Like it's tempting, but I don't know if I would go that way. Like, but if I had peers that did it and I was like, Hey, if you just happen to have some Amazon packages on my doorstep with some cash, I'll keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you don't know what the situation is. And it's like, but I don't know if I would go go through with it, though. Like, I say I would do go through with it in a, a roundabouts way. But I don't know if I would actually do it. Because I like my freedom and there are lots of TV shows I need to watch. You know, Amazon packages I got to get. Yeah. For me. I keep slouching down. I'm, I'm in my little, uh, what do you call it? The lounger. <laughs> so, <laughs> pretty soon I'm just going to be like, with the, <laughs> the throw covers. <laughs> yeah, for me, I I could, couldn't do it for the simple fact. <clears throat> I'm not going to put myself in a position where someone have control over me. And when I say right. have control over me, I'm talking about what if it's going to jail? Or if you're doing this with somebody, because a lot of time when you get off in that lifestyle, there's only two ways out of it, uh, death or jail. Yeah, so I'm not going to put myself in that position. Yeah, I don't need um, uh, Mr. Big coming after me. Um, so that's, that's the way I look at it. But some people want that fast money, but that fast money can also take you out. Yeah, it's not um, good money. No, never a good thing. And then um, I know this the one you've been waiting on and probably a lot more. I don't, <laughs> somebody might need to check and see if Trump been taking his uh, tit tats or his uh, medication, his diet Pepsi or Coke, whatever it is he's drinking. Maybe he No, I remember he was drinking bleach in that. Uh... What was oh. that? Uh, <laughs> Disinfection. No, what was that other one that he was saying? The I forgot the drug for the uh, COVID that he was talking about. Um, it sounded like chlorine, chloride, chlor something. It, it was a it was a form of a uh, chlorine or something. I don't know. It was some word like that. Chloroxide, chlor. I don't know. Yeah, but Trump came out today. It did science. So. <laughs> Trump came out today. He came so, out yeah. today. Trump, the man, identity of officer who shot Capitol Rider, Ashley Babbitt. When I first read the last night, I'm like, is he talking about the one that did the flicing? Uh No, the that was Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> <That's what> <laughs> yeah. Um, despite DOJ self defense finding, so basically, I want them to identify this officer. I believe he was identified because I believe I found this name a while back. Um, once they cleared him of all charges, but uh, former President Donald Trump on Thursday joined a chorus of right wing voice calling for the identity of the law enforcement officer who shot and killed Capitol Ride, Ashley Babbitt, uh, as she attempted to breach the House chamber on January 6th, which the Justice Department determined was an act of self-defense. Um, now, here's, here's the key to that. And I know we talked about it on the show many of times, and I'm not reading that whole story, but you and I have talked about it, that if um, if uh, January 6th, if there would have been a BLM, BLM movement, 
it would have been a different headline. It wouldn't have been no damage done to the Capitol for the simple fact it would have been one of those situations once they breach the grounds of uh, Capitol Hill, it would have been self-defense. They would have been shot and killed. But here it is, Trump, the one who is allegedly behind all of this because he encouraged folks to come to Washington, want to know the officer name. Now, I've seen the video. What was he supposed to do? Right. For bad enough, they already have have bust through the doors, done damage, and now they break in the window to try to get into where the elected officials are being held. And once she came, bust that once they bust that window, and she went to jump through that window. He shot and killed her. Because if he didn't, it's no telling what would have happened. Okay. Now the now the family is trying to sue, and the husband, when it happened, he came out and said, "I believe that's my wife," and I think he had no, I, I, if I recall right, I think he said he didn't realize she was in Washington. So the thing is, that right there, they just need to go on and sit down because. She tried to overthrow this great country uh, power by going to Washington, going to Washington and also trying to overturn our election. So was it a justified killing? Yes, it was. And to be quite honest with you, I'm not about violence, but I could just imagine if that was uh, a Black Lives Matter incident, it would have been a lot more killing. Well, it wouldn't have even gotten that far. Exactly. Like, as soon as they went around at that uh, street, it would have been a war. It would yeah. be pepper spray, grenades, those rubber bullets, everything. Mass casualties before they even got to the Capitol. Matter of fact, they probably would have uh, had FBI knocking on their doorstep or knocking on their doors because they had planned it and got them from their online post. Well, not only that, I think what would have happened. Now, this is just my opinion. Um, I think what probably would have happened if it was a Black Lives Matter incident, because I just seen a video. Somebody posted a video a couple of days ago showing how they responded with Black Lives Matter, how many National Guards and all of them was up on the step. Not just at the bottom, they were spread that on the steps, all across the step of Capitol Hill to make sure no one did anything crazy. But if it would have been a Black Lives Matter incident, I truly believe what would have happened. Once they breached the grounds, the barricades, and started to attack officers, it would have been a bloodbath. Yeah, but we wouldn't have even been able to breach the gates. As soon as we touched those gates, we would have been taken out. Would have been taken out. Like, the fact, like they would have never been in the building. They wouldn't have made it to the building. Like exactly. <laughs> So, um, um, so as for this situation, Trump, you lost. Go ahead and <laughs> take a seat way back, but don't leave the country though, because we want to see you stand they proud. They don't want him anywhere. They <laughs> um, Melania's but, not going out of this country. She worked too hard for that. Exactly. Um, so it, I'm like this, Trump. Leave it alone. You're out. You're not coming back. And for these Republicans, there's another thing. Kind of find out reason why it was only two names that supported to investigate uh, the January 6th case that they was talking about yesterday because all the other Republicans flew out to Texas 
to be with Trump. If you are in these states with these Republican leaders that should be for the people and they did not they don't want to investigate this this terrorist attack, need to vote them out. Vote them out. Get rid of them. Dan Crenshaw, you got to go. You have to. And yeah, I'll I give you permission. Oh, I'm not going to say it. But when Greg Abbott leave out, Dan Patrick, Ken Patson, Sid Miller, the Board of Education, you go ahead and stand up and, and stick that one Baptist finger up and, and go ahead and that sit out the out the room too so you getting voted out next year also so um i know that's a lot of story we had a great time today um uh, anything you want to add to it miss risky nah <laughs> i was just reading all like the comments the radio chaos one uh about i guess somebody sitting in his lap <laughs> Yeah, I I didn't read a lot of comments. I did display them and leave them up there for a while, but radio said I had to come up on stage and tried to sit on my lap while I was playing once. She ended up falling and taking out my music stand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was trying to she was trying to back that thing up on you. <laughs> <laughs> I seen a video and I seen a video uh today on Instagram. So I don't know where this was. It made me think about uh the the restaurant downstairs. I mean not downstairs, downtown. <laughs> no, the one, where no, the you one live, we talked bro? about. <laughs> no down downtown when they was talking about the young lady getting up on the glass twerking and all of that. Uh -huh. Well, I seen a video today, some they was in some restaurant. They was twerking. Well, this young lady was twerking. She was um uh she was had she a built coat baller and some uh little Becky had looked like an earning boy front and back. She came up trying to twerk up against her, so she said, Oh, let me do this. So she pulled the pants down. And started twerking up against the next thing, you know, the sister got the bagging it up and the little Becky was on the floor and the sister just went right over on top of it, just kept going. I said, boy, and it was at a restaurant. I said, Lord, That's she should have known house. better. <laughs> she should have known that. better. Except but, next week when I'm in Mexico, I'm going to be on the beach. But I'm going to stay on the resort on the beach. Hey. With my drinks. And I may try, we'll see what happens because I don't know what all we're doing, but I may do like try to come on. Is that thunder? It wouldn't surprise me. Like that's what I kept looking because I kept hearing a rumble. <laughs> like, but it got loud. I was like, I didn't remember seeing that in the forecast, but I didn't look at the forecast. So. Whatever. Well, they say it's supposed to be hit and miss all week. Yeah. I know Tuesday it rained out here, and I was like, it rained like it I'm looking like at the only. trees in the backyard, our trees blowing. I'm looking at the flats at the houses behind us, they blowing, and then I'm looking at the flats at the other house, and they just laying down flat, not even blowing. Then every once in a while they'll blow, then they'll lay down flat. I'm like, hold on. What's really going on? I'm like, look, I'm looking out. My wife told me she wasn't here. She was like, baby, you might need to take cover. I'm looking because I'm like, hey, I need to see if something about to come. So, but uh, no, it was just heavy rain. Yeah. That's all it was. They said hit and miss all week. I have no problem with rain. They said it I like rain. temperature down. Yeah. Especially but it misses my Texas. sinuses, though. <laughs> I feel it's a love hate relationship. <clears throat> yeah, like, I don't know why it does and now, like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, so hey. rude. <laughs> <laughs> you like my fake yeah, part? <laughs> it, it, it treat me so I've been bad. Practicing. <laughs> it treat me so bad. I don't it's know why I do me like that. 
Why you treat me so bad? No, funny um, story. Uh, when my niece was little, <laughs> like I'd be driving, or my sister would be driving. I'm in the passenger, niece in the back, and all of a sudden you just hear. Uh, 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 uh. We look. Oh my gosh, what's wrong? Oh no, I'm just practicing. <laughs> And my sister immediately looks at me and I was like, where did she get that from? And she's like, you. <laughs> <laughs> and actually and this trip is to celebrate her graduation. Her graduation, her graduation. and her birthday and going to OU. So proud of her. Hey, and, then I, and then for her birthday, I was planning something, but she's already got plans. So that's how it starts. Hmm. Well, hey, she's smart. I'm gonna need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> My baby's gone. Hey, <laughs> that's so all right. All the and I seen the um, I seen the picture uh, of all the packages she got, <laughs> and um, <laughs> talking about uh, I guess it's Amazon Prime Day. Well, she I had a know. list <laughs> for what you wanted for school. And so I was like, I got you. And so I just cleared out her cart and they just. <laughs> just so it, it about, was... uh, <laughs> talking about all these packages, courtesy of uh, Miss Blissy. <laughs> I'm like, Lord. I said, boy. Like, at but first, that's... I was going to come back with, it wasn't that much. And I was like, yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> But you know, I, I would have capped her. Like one of the things she I was we were gonna get her, well, I say we, but me, I was gonna get her something that was like a bajillion dollars. But she was like, Oh, I can't have that because the space. So <laughs> that one item, like like all the things I got her was the you know, same amount as that one item. So I was like, Oh yeah, we can get all that. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> so yeah. Um she got one more package coming Monday. Well, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. You got to get it before the trip, though. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, she's getting it cool. Monday. We'll be gone Wednesday. Um. Well, enjoy your trip. Let the people know where they can find you. Now, look, uh, <laughs> don't let them know where you're staying in Mexico because somebody might show up be like, Listen, if they oh. want to uh, pay for a, a, an excursion, I'm all for it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ain't getting no hey, boat you, and, with strangers. What? Maybe I don't they know. Have, they don't have a horseback like they do in um, uh, probably. Jamaica, do they? Well, like most yeah, places, they, they have excursions do. where that you can ride horses on the beach and play with the dolphins and all that stuff. We'll see what we're, we, we can do. We'll see. We'll get the game together yeah. and figure out. Because I want to do at least well, one excursion. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> you like saying as long as I'm right? on the beach. Yeah. As long as I'm, <laughs> I'm on the beach with a drink, I'm good. I just don't want to be here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You might have your opportunity. <laughs> just make sure you go to the right part of Mexico. <laughs> well, we're not going to venture too far off the trail. No, no, yet. no. I'm talking to somebody else. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, just hit me up and I'll give you the information if you decide to go. <laughs> but and I'll um, be like, Stranger Danger, race. <laughs> no, I I actually uh, know him personally, and he's a cool he's a cool guy. Yeah, uh, what you see online, that's him in person. And he's he's chill, and um, I actually friends with him on Facebook, so he always put up some good quotes and stuff. So I I trust him with you. I trust. Yeah, I have him lots of you. friends on Facebook, but I don't trust them though. <laughs> yeah, hey, everybody I can't vouch for, but for him I can vouch for. Uh, I, I vouch for no one. <laughs> he like, had a thumb of like approval. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they different. <laughs> Yeah, like everybody's it. different now. Um, it's like, you think, may not like me. I don't know. No, I think I, I'm hit or miss with people. Like, I'm, um, I'm, in, I'm an interesting character. 
I think him in love with you. <laughs> He's but, in like. <laughs> in like with you. But <laughs> he was infatuated. <laughs> hey. I would I would send at his death drawing little hearts. <laughs> <laughs> with the with the Dating. error through it. <laughs> with the error through it. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> hey, do like uh, <laughs> do like our friends did uh my wife and I before we before we started dating and they went old school and uh, on a piece of napping at the restaurant do you like me yes or no <laughs> would you like to date me yes or no I'm I'll like, be at the bottom I'm, I'll write in my maybe <laughs> <laughs> I think it, I think it was on there too in junior high when those things came out maybe and that was one of the best decisions I ever made because <laughs> be 14 years this year. Woo, boy, I can't even get a foot in the door, but I haven't left my door really. <laughs> so. If you would have told me this long nah. time ago, I would have been like, nah. Nah. Uh, uh, you can't tell me I'm going to be married this long. Mm -mm. It's just, but, yeah. But that's cool. All right. I'm going to say it again. I know I said it a while ago. <laughs> Let it, let the people know where they can find you at. Everywhere online. R-S-K-E-E -E, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, but I really don't use Facebook that much on my author page. Um, but Instagram, I live on. Um, find me on WordPress. All the things you can find me. And then if you have a, a story like you want me to research or you heard or something, Send it to my email. I actually have one for my author, R-S-K-E-E, -E, at Yahoo. So simple. Send me some messages and, and what you want me to look up because I'm running out of ideas. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah. And also, if um, if you have a something you want us to check out, uh, TKL said, y'all have a good night. Y'all always on your game. Uh, thumb up, fist. Um, uh, hey, we appreciate you for tuning in. But if you have a story or idea, what's his name? Um, uh, Matos, uh, send us an email with information and we will research Mateo. it. Yeah, Mateos, uh, you know who you are. Uh, <laughs> you can send us the email and uh, we will research things and come back if... Um, um, if it's true, no links. Yeah, I'm looking up one, but there's only one source so far. <laughs> and I'm like, mm, I need more sources than that. So. I did I did pull up what he said about the um uh the dam, Ethiopian dam. So I did look at that. So um, but definitely if you have a story that you want us to speak on, uh you can always send us an email. Um either to Miss Risky email or to my email and I will forward it to her. So um, you can find me on social media. I'm not on there as much. Uh, I think I've been hanging out on Twitter and uh, uh, Instagram mostly. Facebook, I hit and miss. But I kind of think I want to start doing a little TikTok. <laughs> I have an account. R-S-K-E-E. -E. Look me up. I only have one yeah. post though. <laughs> I don't have no post on mine. So. I just said one. That's it. I have a couple of followers and I'm following some folks. And so I think I want to do kind of venture into the Listen, TikTok world. Don't do it. Oh. Okay. Because you're not going to post. See, this is what you're going to do because this is what I do. You just go on there seeing what the kids are doing. Two hours later, you're like, oh my gosh, have I been looking at freaking TikTok videos for two hours? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, I do I on TikTok and Instagram. And then I'm stalking BTS. Love V. V, I love you. That little boy is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had um, uh, sent you a TikTok earlier or uh, something. Send me a TikTok. Uh, 
I think I did. Okay, I don't know who. I don't think you did. I pulled my phone up. It looked like I got all type of messages and came Yeah, through. probably for me. I got bored. I seen it. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, You're like, yeah, those are for me. <laughs> it's only <laughs> two or three, sir. But I thought I sent you a TikTok earlier. Um, but, yeah. But anyway, I try not to go, go in there too much and... um. Like uh, I got banned you... myself from going on to YouTube because that rabbit hole. Yeah. Yeah, it'll take you way down. Take uh, to some dark places. And and we both going to hell for that story you sent for laughing. <laughs> Where did I send you? <laughs> Wait, which one was that? <laughs> oh, with the little people? <laughs> That's the one? Yeah. <laughs> hey, they yeah. posted it. I am. I just shared it. And then, um, yeah. mm-hmm. did you see the one with the father and son? Uh, you gotta be a little bit more specific. The father and son that walk, the walk into the house. Yeah, about, uh, that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, you sent me the I one. I think I sent the, uh, you that one. Right? No, you, I sent you I think that you one. sent me the one with the, uh, and there's one with a ball. the guy threw the ball. And yeah. <laughs> that's the one you sent. So me, I sent but... No, I sent you both of those. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess so, so much there. That, listen, I went down a dark hole. I sent my mom a TikTok. I don't know if she's seen <laughs> the TikTok because it was funny <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, this is. Um... Damn. Okay. <laughs> um. And and I know we're gonna get off the show, but we're gonna hit on it uh, just real quick. Uh, I think Twitter been my one of my things I go to all the time, but it just came out uh, today, I guess a couple of hours ago, and I don't know what happened to that story. But Sakara uh, Richardson has been suspended from the Olympus for testing positive for marijuana. Which one? Sakara Richardson, the young lady from Dallas. Oh. Um, Wait, the runner? The fast, yes. Her? <gasps> no. Yeah. Not the Oblivion? With the hair? Yeah. Oh, yes. come on. And uh, look like she tweeted out, I am mean, human. Look, I feel like the way that a lot of people marijuana is not going to make her run faster. Exactly, like Michael Phelps. This dude was breaking records in water, and he was smoking hella weed. Like y'all couldn't catch up with a dude who was like on slow speed. <laughs> 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 like the fact that he actually made it to the pool from the sofa. Like, come on, weed is from the earth. Leave her alone. Yeah, this is uh now you gotta they gotta realize is I don't know for sure, but is Oregon a uh a state where you could get it? There's a few and where states. It's legal? There's a few where states it's legal? where you can get it, it's legal. I think at this point, marijuana, fine. That's not gonna give her more speed. If anything, get the floor <laughs> down. It's not um, an enhancement. And the fact that she broke records <laughs> and she's on the weed, the wacky tobacco. Come on now. Like I think certain I think they need to recalibrate that. Like certain things should just be let go. Like if anything, people should want you to be on weed so they can they think they have a chance of winning. <laughs> okay. So somebody just posted uh and it, it's starting to trend right now. Um, on uh, Twitter, but someone says so. The Olympus is replacing Shakara with Jenny Pardano. Uh, if y'all don't see what's going on, then I don't know, man. Yeah, I just it's- saw. Oh, somebody else just posted. Let me share this. Dang it, really? At this point, with the way they trying to, uh, Oh, wow. Someone I, too many, I think it was too what many mean? of us in the, uh, Olymp- going to the Olympics. I think yeah. That's the so they trying to find anything. Matter of fact, somebody put a post talking about uh, 
is a brother getting in a rose talking about uh Michael Phelps watching Shakara get suspended for weed with his 28 medals. Right. Exactly. And I just brought that up. Like the dude was winning all those medals on weed. Uh, it's a according had ABC 27 just tweeted out a uh, new according to multiple reports Chicago Richardson is reportedly facing a 30 day suspension after failing a drug test um, for marijuana. Um, come on now, you have these, it's marijuana, it's natural. This this is a, a flap in the face. Um, yeah, this is trending now. Somebody put up. Yes, everywhere now. Somebody else said how uh, Sakara might get banned for weed, but Michael Phelps was showing up to swim high as Tony Montana. <laughs> we got a picture of Tony Montana uh, snorting things. <laughs> Somebody said Shakara was hot as shit, Lance Weeks, and still outran everybody. Right. <laughs> like, come on. Like, I remember hearing a story of, I don't know if this is in my friend circle. Guy was in a neighborhood, you know, his neighborhood, um, driving down some busy road. And I guess the speed limit's like 50. And he was extra cautious, smoked a lot of weed. He was just being extra cautious. Knew the cops. Cops thought, wait a minute, something ain't right. <laughs> Pulled him over. He's like, oh, crap. What did I do? Was I speeding? His friend was like, dude, you were going like 15 miles an hour. <laughs> going like 50. <laughs> no, hey, what is wrong with you? Fortunately, the cop was his friend. Let him go. I ain't going to tell you what race he is, but you can assume. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but it was just a funny story. I just remember hearing that, and it stayed in my mind. Like, dude, you were doing like 15 in a 50. Like, he's like, I thought I was going fast. So here you have Michael Phelps. You have this young lady here smoking the marijuana, and they're still kicking butt. Yeah, like, it's... what's this say about your comp your your Contenders, y'all suck. Get it together and leave them alone. Hold on. Uh, so I see, I noticed Michael Phelps is trending also. Someone of course. Said they trying to block this girl from the Olympic for weed. Stares at Michael Phelps. <laughs> and and according to this, and, um, Shakira Richardson, did not use steroid, according to a source. Richard says facing a 30-day suspension for testing positive for marijuana. Um, in old clip, well, back in the 70s, we used to call that Mary Jane. Mary <laughs> Jane. <laughs> that just messed a lot of people up because when they hear that song, they don't know what the song is about. They know um, what that song is about. Somebody said Michael Phelps literally had a picture of him ripping a bone go viral. What the hell is this shit? <laughs> uh, nah, this is this is uh jacked up. She's already up under a lot of stress. Right, because um, she's a lesbian. She's black. She is? She's from Oak Cliff. Like, come on now. Like I didn't I didn't know she was a uh, lesbian. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, she thanked her oh. girlfriend at the thing. Oh, I yeah, didn't know the, that. Her girlfriend, I think, chose her hair color or something. Yes, yeah, she, yeah, she's a part of the uh, the alphabet community. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, she's she she's all the letters. Hey, she's a damn good runner. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. they need to let it go. Yeah, they they need to make a decision on this. And I mentioned on the show when they talked about Gwen Berry the other day, I was like, you know what? What they don't realize, if all the black athletes just get out of there, just say, you know what? We're not going. The Olympic would be boring as hell. 
it'll be so damn boring. It'll right. be right. pitiful. But yeah, hopefully they do the right thing and and she's able to compete. She already have lost a lot of things and suffering with a lot of stuff. So uh Shakur, keep your head up, baby girl. Um and um hopefully they do the right thing and allow you to run. Uh, you wasn't tested for steroids like many yeah, others. No enhancements. Yeah. Because, I mean, uh, like, marijuana is good for your anxiety, uh, for insomnia. It, it helps you. It's calm. I mean, it doesn't work on me, unfortunately. But, yeah, it has a lot of medicinal purposes. Mm-hmm. So, like, that should be something they should just let go. Like, really calm. Let her have her moment. And then, um, uh, also, you got to realize you have these um, these type of events in states where it's legal. Uh, Oregon is a legal state to get marijuana. So you have these events here and it's not like it's going to enhance anything. Like someone said, she was high. I don't know if she was high at that time, but she beat everybody. Okay, let her make it. Let her make it. It's not steroids. So, but hey, I know we stayed in a little bit longer than what we wanted to, but that story just came out. Um, uh, so definitely keep her lifted up in your prayers and hopefully they do the right thing. Uh, oh, hell. Yeah, it's, I, I need to get off Twitter because I keep some, uh, keep finding stuff. Caitlyn Jenner flammed Gwen Berry for anthem protest. Honestly, it's disgusting. She's That's so what crazy. Caitlyn said. Yeah, go sit down somewhere. Sit uh, down. That's what she needs to do. Sat down. <laughs> I'm I'm like, come on. So I, uh someone said legalize marijuana and let Chicago run. Exactly. That's how you do it. It's not an enhancement. Uh, uh <laughs> hold on, let me show you something. <laughs> let me see. You're talking about Shikari legal team walking in oh yeah <laughs> <Olympic> committee. <laughs> i seen that while ago and i'm like they going in on twitter i'm like hey um we was getting ready to get off there and then all this started coming i'm like lord see what had happened on. was yeah uh oh <laughs> i said you see something else on uh twitter just came up breaking the Trump Organization has a job posting for a new CFO on LinkedIn already. That was fast. Because the CFO just got uh, indicted today. Yeah. So they already put the job up. Uh, uh, so I'm trying to... I need to get off here. All right, Miss Risky, I guess we'll ended at that and uh, call it a night yeah i guess we'll be talking about this on monday because sunday is a a holiday but uh, i think i'm gonna take a break Uh, (laughs) trust me i'm still because of you i'm still looking at memes that's because michael (laughs) phelps is about to get dragged (laughs) oh yeah because i'm looking at Okay, they say they say for weed over 31.3 thousand tweets have came out. I don't know how long that been, but then I seen Michael Phelps show up and I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? And then I seen Sakara Richardson name. I'm like, let me click on her name, see what's going on. Um so yeah, that's uh interesting. But let her run. Talking about 
white Twitter when Michael came out with we versus Shikari, all of the people come out. <laughs> See, uh, hold on, I remember. I'm trying to see. Um, I'm just retweeting a lot of stuff because I need to keep some of these things. <laughs> some of it. Where, Where was that? this energy with Michael Phelps? And then, uh, yeah, him with the bomb. Exactly. Exactly. I'm like, really? He he seen with the bomb. And, and he's he going to be quiet. Like he, he, he's like, I'm just going to hide in the back. <laughs> Now, did he get suspended or lose any of his... I don't think he lost any of his medals. I'm going to look it up because I was looking at that. I don't think he lost any of his medals. Let me see. Okay, and so it's, it's, it's 47.6 thousand tweets for Sakara, it's Sakara Richardson. Michael Phelps coming in at 5,899 tweets. So I'm like, Really? And that's what made me click on her name. Some people say she won't compete. Some people say she may not be able to compete. I don't know. But they just suspended him. In for how long? Sponsor. But this was in 2009. Um, but it doesn't look like he lost any of his medals. He apologized. And that was it. Okay. Now, here's a good tweet someone put out. It says, Sakara Richardson literally lost their biological mother a week before the Olympus trial. I can only imagine the pain and stress she was feeling before, during, and after that race. Tripping over her marijuana use is incredibly unfair. She deserved better. Oh, so I found another story. It said he was briefly stripped of his gold medals after his 1998 win. But I guess he got them reinstated. <laughs> yeah. This is according to Seattle PI post. Um, and this was last updated in 2011. So. It was briefly. I don't know what briefly means. So I guess he has them now. And it was just a, like, you know what? It's just a little pot. You know what? Keep your medals. Like that scene from, like in my head, I picture that scene from Beverly Hills Cop. Go ahead. Take the bananas. Go ahead. Take your medals. <laughs> so I guess he still got his medals and his accolades and whatnot. Okay. I'm looking at, uh, I actually just started following Shakira Richardson. Um, and um, she have a video on here and I, I'm trying to see if I can, I don't know what it, what exactly it is, but it's her uh, say till I see you again, baby. Um, and it's her and a guy walking up in a suit. She dressed up like it was, um, I don't know if it's her boyfriend or what it is. I don't know. But it's a nice video. Um, but she just tweeted nine hours ago, said, I'm human. Keep your head up, baby girl. Don't let them, don't let them get you down. Because um, this is uh, jacked up. There's Jack there. And uh, 2016, he still has his medals. Yeah, oh, okay. 23 gold, 28 medals overall. And he's he keeps them in a secure location. Exactly. Now they they frowning up on marijuana. How many elected officials do we have? <laughs> That is making laws that is not for everybody. And y'all coming down on this sister who just lost her mom and she didn't use an enhancement. She didn't use a steroid or anything like that. Come on now. 
And when you have uh, former First Lady Michelle Obama tweeting about you, if you haven't seen it yet, um, at this uh, Shakara race at the Olympic trial, it's something to behold. But her grace and grit in this interview might be even more special. We're all so proud of you, Shakara. Can't wait to see what you do in Tokyo. So that, that's a blessing. And I, I see Marcellus still hanging in there and said, weed is legal. Uh, he said, good night, y'all. Uh, but then uh, he said, weed is still, it's legal in some state. Leave her alone, alone. And Oregon is one of those states where it's legal. It's legal in Oregon. She lost her mother. Can you imagine the stress she's going through? Needed something to clear her mind. Calm her down. Uh, I'm sorry, but I said before, if it was illegal here in Texas, I'd be. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, praying for you, baby girl. Hopefully, um, uh, they make the right decision and allow you to run, allow you to make history because they know they don't have anyone in the Olympus that can even get close to you. So until Monday night, uh, I won't be on Sunday, uh, Monday night. I will talk to each and every one of you. Oh, uh, <laughs> Marcella's talking about if it was legal, I would have a blunt right now. I feel you. I have herbals. My one of my poker husbands gave me some stuff, but like I said, it has no effect on me. So I'm giving it to my friend. I'm gonna meet up with her for the fourth. Well, I I've used the uh, CBD, yeah, marijuana. I didn't like the way that tastes. Uh, I've had edibles. I don't know how is that supposed to make you feel. Like I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it or something. Like I'm thinking it's supposed to make you feel a certain way. Um, I did have a good night's sleep. <laughs> that was like good. I didn't wake up in the middle of the night, so I guess that was like I I expect like how I when I drink red wine, that chill feeling. I don't get that with any of this stuff. But and I'm a hater, and I'm like, <laughs> like you know, well, smokers. Hmm. I'm 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 not a smoker like I was in my younger days, but we went to Jamaica uh, about four years ago, maybe. And while we was in Jamaica, I was part of the culture. But that last night, I had so much love. I'm like, okay, I'm smoking, smoking, smoking. I went in there and uh, my wife had fell asleep. I'm in the room and they had all the plant uh, chips in the room that they put in every day, though, banana chips. I'm opening up package after package. I'm just eating. My wife said, what are you doing? I said, nothing. I'm just eating chips. She said, all of them. <laughs> and uh, I could have just ordered room service because it was free. I was eating everything that was in that room. I just got pissed. I had, I had the munchies. And when we got to the airport the next morning, I'm going through security. The woman said, why are you sweating so much? I said, woman, look. You just reduced her to woman. Lord. <laughs> I, said, I said, look, I've been here for the last four or five days. And I've been a part of y'all culture. She said, go on. <laughs> She was like, okay, go on. I yeah. said, shoot. Like, when I tell you it had no effect, I didn't even get the munchies. I got nothing. I got pissed off because all my friends were like, oh, you know, and I'm like this. Hey. <laughs> I was. So I just stick with the, the wine. I was eating everything in that room. I said, because there it was, it was like, okay. I'm just, I didn't feel like I would had the munchies till I came in. I laid in bed and I'm like, I'm hungry. I I'm going to give it one more chance stuff. though when I go to Amsterdam because I want to try one of their moon pies because word on the street. 
like one of my circle of friends went to the uh, was it one of the museums um, the guy that cut off his ear I forgot his name but anyway <laughs> cut off his ear was he high <laughs> he was depressed and killed himself I think oh, okay. um, he was like one of those renaissance painters they went to his museum and there's like five floors five or six floors of his art they only made it to the second floor because homegirl was like so high from this moon pie she's just <laughs> stayed at one painting for several hours <laughs> Like, I would like to experience that exactly. just once in my life. And that's what I'm looking for. But I'm, I, it's just not like my body just doesn't, it just counters it. So mm. I don't know. We'll see what they have in Amsterdam. Maybe that'll work. Marcellus telling me, don't call him Kurt Dog, call him Snoop Dog. Matter of fact, let me try some of that Snoop Dog stuff because somebody said they Ow. thought they were small. And they were like, <laughs> why is everything so big? <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. Hey, Snoop, holler at me, man. Right, hey, Snoop. Next time I come to California, bottle of your rose mm -hmm. and some uh, herbals. Next time I come to California, you come to Texas, holler at me. Uh, I forgot I what that was. Was it Cat? No, it wasn't Cat Wood. It was some. I think it was. He She's was smoking about... out with him, and then he was like, "It was just before he was gonna go on an interview," and he was like, "Like thinking." You're talking about he was just sitting there. Yeah, I think he it thought, was like, that way. Grew, and he was like, he thought he was tiny. He is shrunk. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> think it was Cat Williams because he was like, Cap "Now Williams. I can smoke, right? I can He's smoke, like, but, with him. <laughs> but but with Snoop Dogg, I just can't do it." <laughs> like, and that was, and that, and from that moment, I was like, "I must try it. I must." And nothing, like my body just does it produce that thing that allows me to get that high. <laughs> Wait a minute, somebody just tweeted. Um, someone said, Sakara is low-key doing good PR for weed. Because everybody think the, the shit be slowing you down and making you lazy. Well, <laughs> there you it, didn't, it didn't flow her down. Exactly. Um, and again, I think we should legalize it in Texas, especially because that's how we're going to pay for these reparations that they owe us and give me my freaking casino. Exactly. Um, so <clears throat> on a serious note, hey, I hope they do the right thing and allow this young lady to run because this, first of all, she's she made history already. You don't want to be the one to come back and say well, because she did this, we, which is legal in most of uh, most of our states, are becoming legal soon. And then you have the trials in the state where it's legal at. And and she lost a, a mother. She was up under a lot of stress. So hopefully they do what's right. So Kurt. <laughs> I My know. Mom texted me. She's like, "Y'all ended the show ten times, and y'all still talking." <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said I have to get off the Twitter. I have to get off the Twitter because that's when that ADD, ADHD kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know why she's saying that, right? <laughs> she waiting waiting for us to stop, and she yeah, can so call she can call me up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom, <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah, but that's 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 jacked up how they doing. I hope they let her run. So uh, we're gonna try it again. All right. We're gonna try it again. So until Monday night, we love each and every one of you. Be safe because the Delta variant is is wrapping up. Even if you have the vaccine, they saying still protect yourself because people are catching it. So if you're out enjoying the 4th of July, not for me. Juneteenth was my day. But um, uh, protect yourself. I love each and every one of you. Until Monday. Peace.